Alright folks, so I wanted to do a quick video where I talk a little bit about digital contacts or DMR IDs and how you can import them into your ham handheld radio that supports DMR. So to understand what I'm talking about, let's take a look at the right side of the screen. And when you import the DMR IDs or digital contacts into your radio, when you are having a QSO or a conversation with somebody, you can see other information like their name, and their location, their country of origin, in addition to their DMR ID and their call sign. Now your radio might allow you to adjust the way that this is displayed, so maybe you see the call sign first, maybe you see the DMR ID first, but if you don't upload this database to your um, digital contacts in your radio, you'll just see the DMR ID. Um, that might leave you wondering a little bit. So anyhow, it's a pretty nice feature and I encourage everybody to take, uh, take advantage of it. If you take a look at this, as of right now, there is 112,000 and change uh, DMR IDs in the database. So anyhow, this website that we're looking at, and I'll include a link below, if you haven't already noticed, is www.amateurradio.digital. Um, I did feature this in a different video where I did a digital contact import to my BTEC DMR6X2, which is a fantastic radio, by the way. Um, but uh, I didn't talk about other radios, and this is a question that comes up quite a bit. Um, I'm not a DMR expert, I'm just a guy with a DMR radio. And, but people do ask me, they say, hey, how can I update my, uh, my contacts in my radio? Or, um, you know, I've got, a, I've got a Radio Oddity, or I've got uh, iLunes, or Redivis, uh, TYT. <clears throat> and I always direct them to this site, so I just figured it might be a good idea to do a video that uh, I can use as a reference uh, to provide an answer to somebody who's asking me those questions. So, so here we go. Anyhow, when you, when you do log into this site, um, there's other things that the site provides. You can update your profile. Um, there's other services here. Uh, you can download like a PyStar mobile app for your, for your iPhone is my understanding. But the only thing I really do is I use the digital contacts wizard and that's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm taken to the uh, three step process. Um, and what we have here is the step one and it talks about selecting the radio that you have. So when you hit this drop down, what you can see is, is that there's a variety of different radios that are supported by amateur radio .digital. Um, So let's just go ahead and pick a radio oddity GD77, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now it's my understanding that this radio only supports 10,000 contacts, right? So that's why we picked this one. Um, I could log in here to save my preferences. So that way if I create a, a custom download, I don't have to do it every time. And that's one of the benefits that you would get by having an account with a website. So anyhow, we selected our radio. Let's go ahead and click over here to step two. Um, when we take a look at this, what it's going to say is there are currently 112,000. We, we covered that. And the radio oddity is limited to 10,000 digital contacts. So we, we talked a little bit about that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start filtering it down. So here it says, what DMR IDs do you want to include? Well, we can't include all of them. So let's hit this drop down. Um, and let's start by saying, let's go ahead and pick by country, right? So if we scroll through here, we can see that in the United States, there's 50,750 folks that have DMR IDs. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to select that. And then maybe we can say, let's take a look at by state as well. Um, and let's just say we're in the People's Republic of California. So we can go ahead and we can pick that. Um, down here there's some advanced options for the file, the file output that you're going to get. Um, you can include the country, maybe you can abbreviate that, uh, you can change it to the name, maybe full name or first name. Um, and you would do things like that if your screen had limited real estate on your particular radio. So let's go ahead and uh, move over to step three and we are going to say reminder be aware of your radio's digital contacts limits okay we got it so once we click this download what's going to happen is a csv file is going to be compiled and then downloaded and so here it is for me and remember this one is in a format for the radio oddity gd77 okay so here we are we're just taking a look at the csv file that was created now one of the things i wanted to say was is that um, when we take a look at the csv file you're going to need to import that into your own radio using your CPS or your computer programming software specific to your radio. I can't show you how to do that because I don't have that for every single radio. But what I did want to do is show you how to generate the CSV file and then you can use that for your upload. Um, and here we are, we have our custom contacts for our GD77 
and then you can see the radio ID call sign name uh, these folks don't have any nicknames listed uh, city state country and um, any remarks and uh, you could fill in additional information here like let's just say you knew Scott over in in wherever this is La Habra California uh, maybe you did want to put a nickname in there for him I don't know anyhow that's really it uh, I did want to say thanks to everybody for watching I really appreciate it if you like this video uh, go ahead leave a comment uh, click the thumbs up or even subscribe for more content of a similar nature thanks for watching everybody